Hi Leo, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me, Leo. I'm really happy you're here. My name is Christine. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Leo Tarot reading. Leo, love tarot reading. Leo, love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Leo love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Leo, let's take a look at the energy, their feelings for you, your feelings for them. Who's making what move, if any? What's going on in the connection? Let's take a look. It's the Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yeah. So validation, the no contact, no communication, and or in separation, Sun and Gemini energy here, with the Two of Wands, Mars and Aries energy. So waiting on this person kind of getting out of the separation energy. Look here, looking off into the distance for them to make a decision. What's going on in the connection? Is it around the ending already or is it around the possibilities? Because it's Mars energy, you know, and there is a completion energy around that. Okay. Let's see. What's going on, Leo? This is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. Leo, all your playlists are linked in the description on the channel as well as below. You'll also find all signs, tarot readings, love readings for the collective. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings below. So feel free to explore. Let's take a look at this energy coming in. Leo, you're here. It's the sun. It's Leo energy. Of course, Leo is also connected to the solar plexus chakra, or I should say the sun. <laughs> you, Leo, same thing, right? I do. A pretty powerful energy. And it's coming here with the five of cups, Mars and Scorpio energy. This is somebody who wants to apologize. So that's what you've been waiting for. That ton of swords energy, reversal energy, waiting for them to apologize. Scorpios can hold back some pretty deep emotions, including apologies. This is literally what you've been waiting for, is for them to apologize, quite literally to you, getting into a new cycle. Is that going to kind of get things going again, or just getting out of the energy of this person not having apologized? Let's see where it's going. It's a general tarot reading. Whoa. Always take what resonates. Let the rest go. It's the five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're wanting to come back in here. The Empress. I think these are also yours. No, those are not yours. The Empress is here in the partnership placement in the Ace of Pentacles. So this... It's kind of looking like it might be more than an apology. It's definitely what you've been waiting for. I want to show you the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I want to shuffle some more, of course, and I want to just say a few things. To remember this is a timeless reading. Always take what resonates for you and let the rest go. Thank you again for being here, and don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you so much, Leo. The hangman is here, just wanting to show itself, kind of where everything has been. There's definitely been some power struggles here. So two, I want to say, yeah, <laughs> two strong personalities. But it's also somebody who hasn't been apologizing. And it's what you've been waiting for. And it is coming in. And it's a sincere apology. There is an honesty to this. Is there more? There might be. Cancer, or excuse me, Capricorn, <laughs> Virgo. I'm going to move it a little bit more. Virgo and Taurus energy. Are we looking at next level here? Because they have been missing you. Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Fool. 
Also in reverse, the Knight of Swords, the Hangman is back. Yeah, this is somebody who has been struggling around commitment. Could be literal commitment issues only. We could be also looking at something else going on here. The roses in this deck, you know, it's around love and a passionate energy. So it, it can be somebody who hasn't been able to balance out their work life and their love life. You know, money and work decisions around that. But we could also be looking at, well, of course, just the, the literal sense of just being afraid of commitment. Because look, they're coming in here now with the next level. They've been thinking about it. They do want more. So that's actually a pretty strong validation. But it's also a validation, I feel, of the person that is here coming in today. And one of those pentacles is yours, that they're making a decision and getting out of this energy. So is this also around, could it be around something else? Pentacles, contracts, relationships, commitments. I mean, it can be to work, money, family of origin, life that they're in country. And of course, it could be romance, too. They've been thinking about this, and this is, they want to come back. They're coming back here to you. I feel like whatever's been going on here, they're getting out of that energy. They haven't been communicating. Look, it's the full in reverse, Aquarius and Uranus energy. They've also, I feel like, been indecisive and have been trying to figure some things out here. I mean, quite literally, in the hangman energy, because... It's sort of like I'm not really sure what to do. They've been in this energy, I don't know for how long, but whatever's been going on in this Two of Pentacles, it's a really strong validation with the Fool in Reverse. We're seeing the Empress come in here, who of course, the Divine Feminine Energy, Taurus Energy also bringing in Libra, of course can create and grow new beginnings, just about anything here. Really strong healing energy, too. The apology is, is sincere. The Empress is connected both to the sacral chakra, I feel, and the heart chakra, I love. Ten of Wands. Three of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. Leo, the sun is back. It's in reverse, the Two of Swords. There's the indecision around this. The Eight of Cups is here, connected with the Fool. Yeah, and somebody who checked out emotionally, left the connection perhaps, but definitely around feelings. I do feel like it is a, a ghosting energy in terms of communication. That's pretty... Pretty much not always coming through with the Eight of Cups, but it's one of those energies that I feel like is here today. Saturn and Pisces energy. And again, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. They've been missing you. It's a strong energy of loss. Mercury and Taurus energy not communicating. It's in reverse. It's a coming back in energy here. There's a lot to say, Knight of Swords, right here under the underneath the Empress, Libra and Mercury energy. The sun is back. It is connecting to the sun, which is now in reverse. So it's a strong validation of the delay. The sun doesn't stay in reverse. And we saw the incoming energy of the sun in the upper right. So they're definitely wanting to work this out. Apologize. Look, three of pentacles as well, Mars and Capricorn. It is a coming together energy. And it's here with the ten of, of wands. Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. It's like, I just want to get out of this cycle that we're in. I'm, I'm done with it. I want to get out of the hangman energy. When you get out of there, you go into the death card energy, Scorpio energy, and you start making changes. You end what needs to be ended, including ego, because that is here. And it's taken them a while to communicate this apology in a sincere way. That's been their ego in the way. But what else? Why are they needing to get out of here? What else do they need to change? It's something in this energy here. And there is a little bit of minor arcana indecision around the Two of Swords, the decision to be made here, the Moon and Libra. And I really feel like it's just about the communication. It's connected to the past energy of the Fool in Reverse. I mean, it's a clear energy of 
somebody who was careless with your emotions, who wasn't responding, who was ghosting. It's really strong. But it's also connecting with them wanting to come in and talk to you because the Knight of Swords has some explaining to do. <laughs> they have a lot of they have a lot of talking here, a lot to say. Okay, I think that's I think that's it. The Hermit is showing itself. Virgo and Mercury energy, it is in reverse. It is where I feel like things have been. Look, it's a stuck energy. They're also really missing you. I feel like you're missing each other. There is a fear around both being hurt and there's a fear that this person has too. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I think it might be connected to their ego as far as opening up the communication because you are separated. No contact, no communication and or in separation. Yeah, look. So the Five of Cups is back and that's been a really strong energy and it's in reverse again because that's also the energy that was coming in. There, This is an apology and you might not be expecting it. Look, it's here with the Knight of Wands on the move with the apology and the Knight of Swords. They have a lot to say. There's a lot of explaining to do. You know, I don't think it's just as simple as, oh, thank you <laughs> for the apology. It's something more. The Five of Cups, Mars, and Scorpio energy because they've been holding it back. And in our Knight of, of Wands energy, look at the horse. It's like the firework went off, loud noise, the light took them by surprise, and they just went on the run here. So it is kind of this energy of being triggered by something, someone, something they've seen or heard, or just themselves. It's also like a light bulb moment. It's a firework here, but it's connecting with the Ace of Pentacles, who we know in the hangman, they've been trying to, to get out of their ego. They've also been trying to take make some decisions and get out of the indecisive energy, which is also really strong here. And a validation with our Page of Wands in reverse, just kind of struggling with making the move. But, I mean, it's coming through pretty strong for me that they are. Look, Justice is here. The Hierophant. Whoa. The Nine of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That is very telling. The Queen of Pentacles in the upright and the Nine. Oh, my gosh. It's like putting you right back. Yeah. So this is somebody who's really had some issues around commitment. I don't know if they've just been having trouble with the next level or there's something else going on. Other people, other places, work, what is it? Because here's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So it's, were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's like the breakup energy, it stopped, it wasn't moving. Breakup energy, you could say, a lonely energy. You know, it's in reverse. It's in reverse, Mercury and Virgo energy. And it's coming right here with the Queen of Pentacles, my little protege to the Empress, who can, who's very resourceful, helping with new beginnings here. A lot of healing energy. It's the Queen of Pentacles. The Pentacles, the commitment. Coming in with the Nine of Pentacles. So this commitment energy coming in and the Queen here wanting to heal things, work it out, putting us here back into the Ten of Pentacles. So like upwriting it before our eyes. And this is the other thing. The lack of that also in the Nine of Cups in reverse. It's I mean, lack of wish fulfillment, really. Jupiter and Pisces. It's one cup shy of the Ten of Cups. Had you built a life? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Are we looking at marriage and families, children? For some of you, yes. It's definitely not for everybody. You know, the Ten of Cups energy is what it is for you in terms of a life and a family. And of course, it can also be around introducing families, going exclusive. And again, for some of you right on the verge of that, whatever the case is, look here. I mean, it's everything kind of stopped, fell apart. And we're coming back in here, literally, the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Minor Arcana energy. We have, we see that the trouble, whoa. Okay, so we saw the High Priestess in reverse. <laughs> and it fell and it still stayed the same. And the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. It's a really, again, it's a really strong validation of them being kind of blocked, indecisive. 
having trouble with commitment. Next level is super strong, but that could be around things in this two of pentacles that there's things they need to change to get out again of that hermit energy and go into the death card and end a job. Another maybe romantic connection or just some interference or really long distance energy, whatever it is, they've been really struggling with that decision here and holding back kind of everything from you as well. The high priestess in reverse. So that's also around, it's both around the uncertainty and the indecisiveness, but it's also the lack of revealing that to you. The high priestess, cancer energy, divine feminine energy, connected to the sacral chakra, I feel the third eye chakra, I see the awareness. And it's been clouded. But we see our knight of pentacles. I mean, and look what else is here. So this is right, looks right where it's wanting to go. Eight of pentacle, eight of cups in the upright, nine and, and reverse. I mean, that's that's like messing, you know, walking away, ghosting, running, whatever, from the commitment, from the emotional investment. I mean, it's just strong what happened here. And of course, we have the changing energy here. Ten of pentacles in reverse, and then coming in, our, where did you go, queen of pentacles? <laughs> here you are with the Nine of Pentacles, getting us back, uprighting that Ten of Pentacles. That's been a lot of the indecision here. So, and it really is right here. Look at this. Yeah, and that's giving us a 22 here. It's an energy of transition, kind of like where things have been now. But it's also a second chance energy. And this Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, connecting with the Ace of Pentacles here. Has an apology to make, but they're also having some kind of epiphanies about, yeah, what they want. Going back into things, getting out of this stuck energy. It's both of you. Justice is here with the Hierophant. So we have the Hierophant. I need to pick the High Priestess up again. <laughs> the Hierophant and the High Priestess. So... Justice, first of all, Libra energy, Venus, and of course the truth coming here. So this is an 11. It's a master number. It's new beginnings. It's a coming together energy. Justice is connected to the heart chakra. This truth is a really healing truth. What is the truth? What happened? What, what's been going on here? It's somebody who does really want to apologize and be honest with you, but I also feel like it's somebody who... I don't know if they're ready now, something around the timing issue here, around whatever these commitment issues are, or available now. I guess it could be one and the same. It's wanting to go here. Okay. And look, <laughs> the higher font. Taurus energy, divine masculine energy, coming here with the counterpart, the high priestess. Cancer energy. Divine Feminine Energy. So it is an imbalance. I have to say that's clear around the commitment energy around the person that's coming through. The Hierophant is a card of commitments, partnerships, contracts, long-term energy. The imbalance around commitment is just even showing here in our Minor Archon Energy, which, was, which is here where their energy is really strong here at the Tarot Closet. So obviously something they've been struggling with and it's a super strong validation. So both around kind of how missing you, wanting, wanting this, wanting to upright literally that ton of pentacles energy, but they've been having these issues around whether it's just commitment or there's another commitment here because that's the other thing. The Hierophant connected to commitments, contracts, partnerships. It could be that that other pentacle is around romance. It could, it's also telling us that for some of you, there is an energy of like third party. So whether it's people in their life or even in their head, you could say like expectations. So coming from different worlds, cultural, religious differences kind of energy. And of course, 
it's also telling me that you're both here, the counterpart, and needing to figure some things out. There are some trust issues here. It's not surprising. We did see that Ten of Swords coming in. They are asking, they are apologizing. We can see why. I mean, it's pretty clear. And what were they lying about? Aside from feelings, it could be connected to this other pentacle, whatever that is. Of course, we could be looking at karmic situations, legal issues. Whatever the case is, this person wants to get out of this no contact energy, get out of the hangman energy, get out of this ind indecisive energy, and try to figure this out. Coming with the apology is really strong. I feel like that's like a door opening, Leo, to come back in here. I want to bring in some Oracle. <laughs> kind of having a brain fart. So the Empress, the High Priestess in reverse, and the Hierophant. That's the other thing. This is around some type of betrayal energy, third-party energy in the way of romance, or just even not so much betrayal, but that there's a third-party energy. It is really strong that we could be looking at another Divine Feminine energy. It's definitely not for everybody, but the, it is here. I'm moving the energy, <laughs> as you can see. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. That's it? Okay. Look. Communication, the voice. So you're both here. It's King of Swords energy. It's Eight of Wands energy, hearing from your person, communicating whether it's via message, SMS, social media, email, if you can see each other. It's also bringing in world card energy. The two of you look together like on your own planet <laughs> kind of energy. Also, what I, what I was hearing is on top of the world, which is um, always makes me think of the Titanic. So that's kind of interesting. And yeah, but really wanting to talk to each other. The world card energy, that's bringing in the world. Leo, you're there. Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. So some completion energy, like being able to talk about the future possibilities because there, it hasn't been here, the fool in reverse. And the world is bringing in the world card, which is the last major arcana. And obviously there needs to be communication. Nothing here has been. You're still connected. This is somebody who, it's rarely delayed the apology, the communication, who does have next level on their mind. There are apologies to be made, and there are situations to work out for sure. But communication is really strongly, it's clear that it needs to happen, is what I wanted to say. And it's this person coming back in. And are there some life-changing decisions to make here? I do believe there are. And it's something around commitments and a validation from the two of pentacles in reverse to the hierophant contracts other ones again whether it's stuff going on with money legal issues other partnerships another life entirely cultural religious differences interference there's something going on here that needs to be communicated in order to even get out of that major arcana energy the completion to, to move on because this is also a card of commitments and it can be around marriage. Could be something already that's here for somebody that needs to change. But we're also looking at that little world here and that also has the future possibilities of next level marriage. It's connecting with these pentacles here. And we know our knight of pentacles is here with the wands, with the swords, wanting to work things out. So yeah, like putting the, those possibilities back on the table. And that can include things like marriage, moving in, introducing families, building a family. What does that mean? Look, it's a wish energy, biggest wish energy. Goodness. This is somebody with good intentions. There's a knight. Mystery and 
gratitude. Look at that with the owl energy here. So we see here, it's the sun. The owl is facing us and then here's the owl in the night kind of leaving their little owl house. <laughs> you know, they work in the night, the nocturnal energy. And once again, owls are Scorpios and they can hide some feelings. There's a lot of them there and they work behind the scenes. So this communication, kind of getting out again, something triggering them to get out of that page, or excuse me, that hangman energy, come here to communicate, of course, opening it up, I wanna say with an apology, can be really closely connected to a nocturnal energy, to the night. Gratitude. It's connecting also with goodness and wish, so it's also a lot around their feelings for you. In the mystery, it's like upriding the high priestess in some ways, revealing feelings, because that high priestess energy in reverse, the sacral chakra, I feel, Third eye chakra I see is clouded energy. Also, where are things going? You know, it's just a boat sitting here on the water. There's the moon. I feel like I need to bring in some more. Okay. We're keeping this. This is where it's wanting to go. Spiritual guidance. The connection here. Kind of pulling you back together, connecting with the crown chakra. Kind of upriding that fool energy. It's also connecting with the hangman energy. This is what they're trying to do. Look, work it out. Like really, it's a questioning God, goddess, the universe. How does that resonate for you energy? We saw Leo, we saw your sun energy coming in in the upright and now it's here in the reverse. Delay in this communication. Somebody here is trying to figure some things out. What is it? It feels kind of big. There might be, again, there might be third parties here, but it's something big. But the commitment wishes with you. This person does have good intentions. The spiritual guidance is connected literally here to the crown chakra connecting us to the hangman. And it's real strong. Look at that. The higher font, of course, and the high priestess. There, there's a, there is a block kind of energy about decisions here. And that world card does bring in life-changing decisions. So it's also communication that's needing to happen. The strength card, you're also here, Leo. Yeah, getting the strength here. To get out of their pride, <laughs> literally an ego. It's also somebody that's kind of like some insecure energy, like I don't deserve you, but I want you energy. This is connected, the strength card is connected to the heart chakra, I love. Connected to the voice, connected to the five of cups in reverse. Also wanting to apologize. Getting the courage literally and getting over their pride and some fear that strong to, to come in. Again, and it might just be coming in in the night. If you are connected via real time at home, <laughs> there could be something going down there literally. Look, it's coming with kindreds, with kindred spirits and healer. It's also bringing in a six of cups energy for me, the sun and Scorpio energy. And that's the feeling too of just like being at home, my person energy. It can be that you've known each other for a really long time and it can also just be around the feeling. But I'm at home with you, look, kindred spirits. You are my person energy. There is some triggering too in realization. So I don't know if they've seen something, heard something. Mystery look. Connecting with kindreds. Hello. And then <laughs> that camera makes me nuts. So then we have the healer energy. And that's connecting both with the Queen of Cups around the emotional honesty and healing, which is really strongly here. Somebody who's speaking the truth and getting out of their ego. Look, the snake shedding its skin. That's what you gotta do for renewal. Yeah, this floral kind of wreath here is reunion energy. And look, there's it's forming an infinity here, which is also connecting with justice, connected to infinity, which could be indicating for some of you, of course, twin flame energy. It's also a particular kind of love, and I'm just telling you, it just 
you can feel it here. It's palpable. And that's truth. Literally, balance and renewal. So this person getting in a balanced energy, which they haven't been, and coming here with the truth, um, wanting to figure this out together. Definitely wanting to communicate, and it's clear that it needs to happen. The voice here, coming with strength, the healing energy, the home. So again, it could be that there's a conversation taking place around that if it's possible for you. I know it's not for everybody that it's laying literally around a, a home. It's definitely a choosing you energy. Being ready, being available, trying to be working something out here. There is a lot of disappointment. The tarot closet, love messages, channeled love messages from your person from their higher self. I'm ready to take all the blame. As I say that, look. You didn't deserve how badly I treated you. Yeah. I'm sorry that it took a breakup to make me realize how I just can't live without you. Right here with Wish and the Hierophone. As every moment ticks away, the more I keep thinking about the past, the stronger I feel that our, lo our love is meant to last. I love you, baby. Connecting here with the strength card. The stronger I feel that our love is meant to last. So also, obviously, the feelings. It's connected to the heart chakra. There has been some aloofness. I kind of feel like it goes beyond that. Eight of Cups here as well. You are my destiny. You are my destiny, Leo. You touched my soul so deeply. And I'm thankful for that. Look, it's right here with gratitude and goodness. I made you cry, but that is never how I wanted things to be. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> I was trying to sneak back in. I got you. My life's biggest, biggest mistake was to think that I'll be okay without you. The truth is that I'm not and I never will be. I miss you. I am wising up. <laughs> That's what they're doing in the hangman energy. And it's also bringing in judgment, a wake up energy. Connected to the crown chakra, I know. Yeah, I mean, they're defi it's definitely strong. Even in our owl here who's flying off into the night with all those feelings they've been hiding. A guardian of the night, the divine connection. Working things out behind the scenes. A wish fulfillment energy here too, around this communication. I just can't sleep. <laughs> The owl is awake in the night because I keep thinking about you all night. I mean, that's just a really strong energy. And our connection and the apology. I don't, I'm sorry I ghosted you. Yeah, I mean, it's right here. Eight of Cups. I never liked that term, ghosted you or ghosted, but it's there. No, I am not over you. It's the truth. You are my destiny, justice. I'll do whatever it takes to convince you that our love is worth the trouble. I trust the universe will bring us together. It's the world here. I knew the moment we met I was yours and you were mine. The Hierophant, the High Priestess. I'm sorry I hurt you. And I'm hearing I'm sorry I lied to you. So I don't know if they lied specifically about something or it was truth by omission. You know, not telling you. It's the same thing, but you know what I mean. The tarot closet love messages. More, I should say. I don't feel good enough for you. That was strong. I don't deserve you, but I want you came through. It's just that there is some insecurity here. You were, you were so good to me. 
I'm shaking my head. <laughs> you can't see. I made so many mistakes. We will be together again someday. I dream of you. I will never give up on us. So that's the literal sense too. It's like moon in reverse energy. Pisces, Cancer also bringing in Gemini. But it's actually, I want to put it here with the wish because it's also about the two of you, you know, in a life together energy. I received your telepathic messages here with the voice. Here it is again. Look, you deserve so much more. I don't feel good enough for you. I don't deserve you, but I want you has been a really strong energy and it's really validated. And I am afraid to contact you also connected with literal, literally here, look, the strength and the voice, the communication and the, the strength card. It's like the Knight of Swords energy. I'm afraid to contact you. So there's some insecurity around that too. To be a lot, I want to say too, for some of you, there's a total vice versa energy going on in terms of third party and decisions around something or somebody else. Don't ever change. My heart is yours. The Tarot Closet Channel of Love Messages. Messages from their higher self. It's a lot. <laughs> they want me to read that one first. We are soulmates. Okay, so that's why. We were meant to meet. Fate. Destiny. They're connected. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve how badly I treated you. I'm sorry I ghosted you. I think of you all the time. I've never felt like this. Do you miss me too? I took you for granted. You deserve so much more. I was stupid. Yeah. Look, and I'm wising up. We were destined to meet. We were meant to meet. That's more of that fate and destiny energy. I'm trying to send you a message. Strength card in the voice, the communication. I think it's more about fear than ego, I have to say. I don't want, there is some ego here. There are some power struggles. It, that's clear. But it's more around fear, maybe of what needs to change in, in somebody's life, but also of maybe not being good enough. Could be up against something else or someone else. That's interesting. Your last channeled love message, Leo. Messages from your person, messages from their higher self. We have a deep soul connection. Yeah. So, Leo, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. It's been my honor to channel for you as always. It feels kind of, I don't know, it's palpable feeling here. There's, there's some kind of... I don't know, peaceful, loving energy. Thank you again. Please don't forget to like today's video. Subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you love, and I'm looking forward to channeling for you again soon. Until then, bye Leo.